what's happening in your life. You have the power to rise above it. Amen. Why am I saying all this? Because I want to talk about emancipation. Dr. Paul gave us an energy of emancipation. But I want to ask a very fundamental, a very serious question. And Father God, I'm asking that every child understands this message. Every adult here understands this message. Everyone takes this message. And allow it to minister to them not after they were left this place. So they can understand how they can empower to change the life and circumstances that they live in this world. I ask for this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 If emancipation means freedom, you've got to examine this word emancipation. When you talk about emancipation, who emancipation is talking about? We got a way of talking about emancipation and talking about what our forefathers did. That's gone. There go. What they did was create an opportunity for you to find out what you have to do. So emancipation is a personal thing. The process of emancipation is a personal thing. Emancipation is a personal thing. Emancipation. Who's emancipation you're talking about? Emancipation is a personal thing. You talk about emancipation, you tell your whole father's story. Now that's good. You talk about emancipation and you talk about the oppressors, the white man's story, what it is. It's not to remember those things. But if you can't see emancipation means that you are responsible for your own personal freedom, stop talking about it. Yes, yes. How do I find my emancipation? I find it through the guidance of the Lord of God. Amen. Amen. God tells me something that all things work together for good. Before the bad times that go through, as well as the good times that go through, I experience it. So I open my eyes. When I open my eyes, I find my strength. When I find my strength, I call on God to help me to use it. Yes. You see, it's not to call on God to help me to use it. It's not contradicting what I said that He's giving you all the power. But because we have lost touch with who we are in Christ, it becomes difficult for us to recognize that we were created to do it on behalf of Christ. He said to us from the very beginning, He gave us, He says, You be fruitful. He can't be fruitful to you, He gave you the capacity to be fruitful. He says, You multiply. You ever got the money with you? He gave you the ability. To do it. He says, You take over. Right. He gave you all that you need. Mm-hmm. Do what he wants to do. He was talking about tomorrow in a study that honors the fact that we are here to represent God on earth. We are here to create what God wanted on the earth. It's illegal for a spirit to come on the earth and to do the things that God has ordained for man to do. God has ordained you to do something. When you're talking about emancipation, you're talking about discovering what God has given you as a gift. Discovering it and asking God for the wisdom to use it in a way that pleases Him. Because if you please God, God will show you that He's pleased with you. Can I say it again? Amen. If you please God, God will show you that He's pleased with you. Amen. We don't just become doctors of Paul, live by the idea of Paul. Everybody here, when you see the doctor, must you do? Sorry. 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 Must 
Yes, yes. That we have to look at them and call them titles that cause so respect. Yes. yes. You think that privilege is denied you? No. It is not all you are. Right, right. The fact that you know this is the Amen. 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 God is giving you our church. Yes, yes. The fact that we are here together and we are reflecting on what our forefathers have gone through. I like the, the woman who talked about the family and the honoring of the youngsters because they are descendants of the family. You know what she did? You didn't do it because you wanted to do it. You did it because God put it in your life. Amen. Thank you. She was obedient to God. The young sisters have not been prominent in the because they have a capacity prominent on their own. But God shows them that they will never forget the one you. Amen. They don't give God a wrong person. Amen. Every once in a while, God will give you a prophetic word from other and tell you they will never feel what they do. Because sign of God is an assignment from God. Amen. It is an assignment from God. We who are sitting here, no matter how old you are, young people, no matter how young you are, God has already planned your path. Mm. If you live a life where you are connected to God, you're always calling on God, God will reveal to you what his relationship with you is all about. He will show you your assignment. Yes. Let me tell you this. For those of you who know me, I ain't that God comes. But if you didn't know me before you became a pastor, you said, oh, no way. Even if he said, oh, that's what he said. When God reveals to you what his plans are for you, tries to me, you can't turn back. Right, right, right. Jennifer and I have been teaching and teaching me at school for years. I don't know how we were teachers. We were teachers. We were teaching the Bible. Matter of fact, in the days they start saying praise in school, you know? You go to school in one, they start school. So the Bible and the belief was no way to go to us. We may have been Christians. But the system did not allow us to practice our belief of this man. But yet God had his heart right and his hand set on us. She didn't come about 50, 10, 15 years ago to say she's in the United States and she's a pastor. I said, Lord, girl, what is that system? I'm not saying so because she lives a lot of us. But I'm saying it's so because the background we had it was no indication that we were in this room. No indication. You see, when you are in touch with God, you realize that gradually, day by day, God will show you who is making you. Who is converting you into. Yes. If you do not know that what you are being converted into is orchestrated by God, is done by God, is a work of God, then you would always think that you're not capable. Mm. I'm not educated enough. I'm not beautiful enough. I don't have the money. You know, the parents, they bring you right. That's what you said. Mm -hmm. Maybe in connection with God, when you contact with God, He tells you what He says. In all things, you're more than conquerors. Because He loves you, He made you, He gave you a promise. Yeah. I'm speaking to you as individuals. Yes. It is your personal emancipation mm -hmm. that will make you important. Yes. Let me get a secret that word. Ready for it? Yes. Take this one. You are not here for you.
good relationships to have. I'm not with that. You're not here for me. You're here for the next person. No matter what you say about yourself, it doesn't matter. Yeah. It is what the next person says about you that does. Yes, yes. Can I say so again? Yes, yes. It is not what you say about yourself. It is what the next person says about you that does. Right, right. Because that next person is experience in you. And he knows your heart. Yes. He knows your, your capabilities. He knows your blessings because he's experienced in it. When we come together in a gathering such as this, it's for us to be encouraged to develop ourselves so that others can be developed. Yeah. Because what you have when you pour it to the others, that's where the true value is discovered. If you're sitting in a place where you're saying, man, I got to do this, I got to do it, and I got to do it, you're looking for no others, I got to watch for me. Uh-huh. You're praising the wrong God because God is his soul. Mm-hmm. The God that made you, that created you, had one plan, is for you to change your world. Yes. And if you're to change the world, it will come a time when you realize that you have to help to change the man next to you. So you can agree that you have the power to change your world. What I have does not belong to me. It belongs to everyone that God has drawn in my life. Yes. Congratulations, overseas, and government. God forbid. God forbid. <laughs> Congratulations, overseas people. Who are still looking back and making contributions yeah. to the village. Yeah. You are living for God. Yes, 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 yes. You are doing what God has assigned you to do. Amen. You will not fail. The only time we fail is when we turn away from what God is saying and we pursuing what we think we should be saying. Our failure comes when we are pursuing our own thoughts, our own feelings, our own goals, our own visions. Our success comes when we ask God to open our eyes to what He has planned for us and we pursue what He has planned. You told you that long before I gave you, I knew you. Mm. Long before I planned to you, you know, I was set your heart to be a prophet. Yeah. Yeah. You know what God has called you to be, but you have doubts because you're not following the path that He set for you. When you're not following the path, your confidence goes on your feet. Mm. When you're following the path, God gives you experiences to see the power you have in you yeah. so that you can confidently accomplish what He wants you to accomplish. Can you hear that word of Yes, 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 yes. Emancipation. Emancipation means living in your personal integrity. Emancipation means listening to God and following as He leads. Emancipation means as I am blessed, so am I blessed always. Amen. For those people who are looking across to see how the neighbor is feeling, <laughs> that's a true sign of emancipation. <laughs> For those people who are thinking, I am here because of my blessing, and blessings are released upon me to bless others, that's a true sign of emancipation. Anyone who's thinking I can't do it, you will emancipate it. Mm. It's not just mental slavery, it's spiritual slavery. Yes. Yes. Satan still has his hands on your mind. Yes, yes. So the power that God gave to you, you not recognize it. Right. I want you to leave here and go home and you know that you are especially equipped for greatness by God. Yeah. And again, I'm going to say this. Age does not matter. matter. Mm. Your past does, does not, not matter. matter. What you're going through presently in life does, does not, not matter. matter. What matters is your connection to God. Hmm. 
Your faith in God. Mm -hmm. Your surrender to God. Yes. And your determination to use what God gives you. So that life can go to another level where you are. Yes. I'm going to close. When you walk in a place, don't let them say that. Hmm, you come. <laughs> Let it know that wisdom is around. Yes, yes, yes. When you walk in the place, yes. don't ever look at yourself. Let it yes. Let it know that power and integrity has arrived. Right. Right yes, yes. Why? Because wherever God sends you, it's going to display how powerful you are in the life of other people with you. Yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. 